not about to start lying now. Hope the noise doesn't startle the neighbors. I wouldn't want to scare the baby out of her. <laughs> it's better off where it's at. Not us, though, babe. <laughs> the impenetrable Fort McGraw. What's it gonna smell like smoking here, Mo? Relax. I didn't say anything. Yeah, you thought it real loud. It's just excellent, ominous film. It actually starts with the title, Eight Hours Left. So you're wondering throughout the film, what's going to happen in eight hours? It actually chronicles the tales of a number of people in a community, a husband, wife, and a son, then a couple about to have a baby, and then a bunch of ruffians going off to hunt, and finally a single woman having a picnic under a tree with a glass of wine. But as the story progresses, you realize these people are intertwined, and you're actually just not sure what's going to happen and then near the end there's a swirling ominous music it's very much a hollywood blockbuster feel this film could be a lot longer than it is it's excellent and i really really love this film quality entertainment um the whole picture just well produced it's polished uh, the performances are good they're grounded cinematography uh, serves the purpose here doesn't get in the way of the storytelling um, yeah it's just a lot of elements came together decently here to make a pretty good picture that's definitely worth checking um, out story is definitely complex there's a lot of moving parts I feel like this is uh, you know it's always difficult when you have a lot of characters in a short film because you have a lot of different story arcs that are kind of happening at once uh, like simultaneously and wrapping them up and like you know interweaving them is pretty difficult when you're given a short amount of space and um i yeah i really dug it i feel like the filmmakers did a great job my favorite part of this i think is the way it's shot it's very realistic uh all the lighting looks you know very like motivated and you know contrasty and it kind of like allows the um the setting to sort of speak for itself. I feel like they incorporated the setting very well. Um, so yeah, loved it. Wow, I mean, what a film. The way that the filmmaker was able to get so many stories under 20 minutes into, I mean, this is an ensemble piece. To get all of that narrative into this short span of time is truly impressive. And each group feels each character, rather, uh, feels as well fleshed out as they should be um, as far as the role that they each play in the story and the way that they interconnect um, is clear and effective. It's a, it, And it's a great film to come, I think, at a time like this because it's a reminder that while times right now are very bad, they absolutely could be worse and that the end is not in sight and that we should be grateful for that. Um, and of course, cherish each and every day because we don't know what tomorrow will bring. I think it's a, it's a fantastic concept and also that it waits until around the midpoint for you to realize what is really going on was another smart choice um, because if they had done it right at the beginning, that could have worked too, but it really allowed us to get to know the characters a bit pers more personally without having to worry about um, the impending doom itself. So I thought that it was actually a very smart creative choice to not have that reveal until later. Very well done. Definitely some kind of futuristic, not even post-apocalyptic because like nothing was going to survive a black hole, but I liked how they wove all the stories together and it was one of those things that like made it clear that this was affecting everybody, that no one was safe, and if you know anything about black holes, then yes that makes a lot of sense you can't do anything you like the like the teenager was saying like you can't fight it like and the different ways that people were reacting to that kind of knowledge that no matter what there was nothing that they could do and it's not necessarily i mean they didn't really go into it but from what i understood like it wasn't even necessarily that anybody did anything and certainly not these characters and the different aspects of how everything unfolded, but like I said, how it all got woven together because they were like the neighbors to the pregnant couple, but then the sister 
of the um, mother was the girlfriend or wife or whatever of the brother of the hunting party and how it all kind of worked together um but you didn't see all of the connection points right away i really liked that i think stories are really clever when they do that because then you end up caring more about the characters once you realize the connections so i thought that that was super well done um, I, I found it like really funny hearing them argue about what the baby's gender would be and like their bizarre reasoning for it which i think i would like one was like like she kicks like a girl which i was like it was just really funny to hear that um they both um clearly have like a lot of fear about the baby coming um which speaks to real truths because i know for new parents um having a life that you now have to take care of can be very fearful so i think that worked well um i also found the double story very interesting um hunting um one thing i noticed like um in one of the stories they're hunting that's ending a life and then the other stories about giving birth which is bringing a life into this world so i thought that was a very unique um like two it was very unique to put those two stories together so yeah i really enjoyed this film this script makes an excellent job uh portraying the characters you immediately feel attached to them and you don't really know much about anyone and also you don't know what's happening it is quite intriguing and nail-biting it is mysterious and romantic it, it was an amazing combination and their the final scene is astounding i really liked it